What's up guys, got a really quick uh, testing tech tip here for you. Working on a SEL 751, it's got a 14 pole test switch underneath it. Now here's a, a real weird thing about those. So the uh, FlexaTest style test switch, the AVB cells, they're made by a couple different manufacturers now, uh, but the design dates back to the old Westinghouse CO relays, like the old electromechanicals had them built in. Nowadays, you'll find them on panels like this. Really goofy thing is, over time, they're like, hey man, we need more, more spots on these test switches. So ABB decided to go with a 14-pole design. Uh, States also makes 10-pole and 14-pole test switches. But here's the real goofy thing. This is a States test switch. And you'll see just the way the blades line up, my 10 pole test switch paddle, if I only needed 10 circuits out of this 14 pole test switch, uh, this fits just fine. It's the same pitch. The distance between the poles is identical. So this test switch paddle, interchangeable with the ABB 10 pole test switch paddle. But on the 14 pole, States makes their test switches to the same pitch as the, the, the 10 pole. I've got my 14 pole States test switch paddle here, which is the same pitch, everything's gonna fit. But the ABB 14 pole test switch, and of course matching ABB 14 pole test switch paddle, are slightly different sizes. So the poles don't match up all the way. There's a misalignment because ABB thought they should save space on the 14 pole ones and cram them together. So what does that mean for you? On the state's 14 pole test switch, you can use the ABB 10 pole test switch paddle, the state's 10 pole test switch paddle, or the state's 14 pole test switch paddle. But you can't use an ABB 14 pole test switch paddle. Further, on the ABB, 14 pole test switch you can only use the one abb 14 pole test switch paddle nothing else is interchangeable with the abb 14 pole test switch clear as mud right